How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at AVG Antivirus 2019 for Android security. Now, this app here is very well known. AVG is one of the most well known antivirus uh, apps out there. I use it myself. And at the end of the, this video, we're going to go ahead and rate it. So, if we go down here, we can see that it has 4.5 out of 5 stars. That's really good. It has really good reviews. We're going to read a couple of reviews here. Easy to use. Gives peace of mind. Cool app. Very useful. Try it. I love it. Best antivirus app. I recommend friends to install this app and clean your phone. Great protection, good security, too many ads. We're going to look into that. It looks like the free edition has ads, and if you don't want ads, you have to uh, buy it. So let's go ahead and open it. Let's go to the very top here and open it. Here it goes. So here we go, like I was saying. Welcome to Antivirus. Start with our most advanced security by upgrading. Swipe to learn more. We're going to swipe. Uh, so they want you to upgrade right off the bat. We're going to go ahead and put continue with ads. So if you're going to use it for free, there's going to be ads. What I like about AVG app, this AVG app, is that there's a big, huge scan button right there, which makes it easy to use. This is a very easy to use app, very user friendly. And we also have a RAM booster there, a junk cleaner, a Wi-Fi scanner. Because sometimes you don't know, maybe maybe your little sister gave your password to all the kids in, in the block, you know. You want to make sure, see who the heck's connected to your Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and start with the big scan button here. Let's see what that does. So right off the bat, you're going to have to give it permissions. And we have the first ad pop-up here, Dave Ramsey. I've been taking some of his classes and look, and knows I've been there. It's crazy how we don't have privacy these days. But anyway, we'll try to ignore that ad, that ad right there. It's kind of hard to ignore an ad that just pops up. But we are using the free version. Free version has ads. So there it goes. It's scanning. It's not taking that long. Antivirus scans on a phone don't really take that long, I've noticed, compared to computer scans. Like if you're scanning your computer. There it goes. All right, scan finished. Let's see what it found. Advanced Web Shield is off. Um, SMS Shield is disabled. Let's go ahead and enable those just to have it. So it, it walks you through how to turn it on. It wants you to go through accessibility and turn it on through here. So we're going to turn that on. pin I don't, I don't remember what pin I was using okay there we go all right cool so we got that enabled we enable this uh, which one was that hold on okay there we go cool so that was it it didn't find a virus so let's go back Let's go ahead and try the RAM booster option here. So it's so it's boosted zero bits of RAM. I didn't really do much. It just it killed nine apps. I mean, you could do that just by just by hitting, as we all know in, on Android, just by hitting hitting the overview. To look at all your apps and close it that way. I mean, you could do it that way too. I mean, the boost around button didn't really do much. I'm really interested in a clean junk button here. Let's go ahead and try that because I really need to clean a lot of uh, space on this phone. And there goes the ad again. But they're not video ads that pop up. It's just an ad there at the bottom, so it's not that bad. Some other apps have a freaking video that pops up, and you got to watch it for 30 seconds, and then and then it's got a little tiny X on there. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Those suck. So, so far these ads aren't that bad. So it cleared 64.5 megabits of space. That's not bad. That's a little bit more space that I can use. Um, 
so it's saying here um, I can oh yeah it only found it so we got to clean it so let's go ahead and hit clean it's cleaning it and it's also telling us that we can use AVG cleaner which I am going to make a tutorial and review on uh, AVG uh, cleaner with cleaner we should be able to get do 2.2 so stay stay tuned for that video I'm going to make that video too so we cleared 64.5 megabits of junk that's not bad cool let's go ahead and scan the Wi-Fi now And we have another ad there, but what I like about these ads, I mean, they're only at the bottom. They really don't, uh, they really don't intrude too much. So, I'm, so I'm pretty happy with uh, so far that it's not using video ads. All right. So here we have options to connect to VPN and uh, some type of auto auto scanning. Now I'm not going to mess with this right here because it could show my IP address, it could show some other stuff I really don't want to give out to the world. But as you can see here, it does have a VPN virtual private network available to use and also uh, auto scanning for uh, maximum Wi-Fi security. So that's, those are pretty cool features that it has. There is also VPN protection here, but I can't open that because it'll show my IP address. And like I said, you know, try to uh, not give that away. Cool. So, and then here we go, of course. Done with ads? Go ahead and upgrade. Actually, just for the heck of it, let's see how much the upgrade costs. So if you wanted to upgrade, the Pro costs $9.99 a year. That's not bad. Every year, I thought, see, that's the thing. We used to be able to buy an app. And one time purchase and be able to use it right but now it's every year okay you know they want to have their commissions but yeah here it is uh, it tells you all the things you're gonna get if you do upgrade but uh, we're not interested in that right now oh but hold on there's more special one-time offer maybe 10% off so that's a nice little trick to get 10% off. Just go back and it'll give you a little coupon there if you guys decide to buy this thing. Because ads do get, you know, kind of annoying. Okay, so what else do we have here we can use? Um, there's another ad right there. There's another app here, Charge Effectively. Or is that a feature? I think that might be a feature. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're back to the main screen here. All right, we're pretty much done with the review. That's about it, guys. Um, actually, we have one more thing here. Let's go ahead and check this lock apps feature. Now, with this feature, you can uh, lock your app so that people can't use them. Let's go ahead and hit set up now. So what you do is you set up a pin code. I won't get into that process because it also shows some other uh, private things. It's going to ask you to uh, confirm your email address, which I don't want that to get out there either. When you're making these videos, sometimes uh, you know uh, some private things go, you know, get shown on here. So yeah, hit set new pin code. You'll set up a pin code, and then from there on, you select which apps you want to lock. There'll be a list there. Lock whichever app you want. So if anybody gets on your phone and they want to open up a certain app, they'll have to put your pin on there. So that's a really cool feature. It'll look like this, actually. A list like this. See? You can just really easily, boom, check which ones you want to uh, lock and which ones you don't. And that is about it, guys. Another thing, too, is... We have data usage alerts here, but every phone has that already. Your carrier sends you alerts when you get past a certain amount anyway. So we won't get into that. Um, and like I said, get rid of getting rid of junk. We will make a video on the cleaner soon, so stay tuned for that video. Let's go ahead and go back here to, um, to Google Play. Let's go ahead and rate this. I'm going to go ahead and rate it four stars out of five. 
uh, almost five I mean it would be five stars if it had no ads at all but because it has ads I got to give it four stars I like AVG it's really simple to use like I said and I like the ads because they didn't pop up and show up on the whole screen you know and play a video those type of apps I don't like so we're gonna give it four out of five it's a good review thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more app reviews and I'll see you soon in my next video have a good one Merry Christmas